Hello, I'm Phoebe Todd Parrish, and I'm a printmaker and book artist from Toronto, Canada. I've been working with book arts for maybe the last seven to eight years, and so today I'm super excited to teach you all how to make your very own notebook or sketchbook using things that you probably already have around your house. Let's do it. These are the materials that you'll need. You'll need a thin piece of cardboard from a cereal box, 5.5 inches by 9 and 1 8 of an inch, 12 sheets of 8.5 by 11 printer paper or another paper, a cutting mat, a metal ruler, a sharpie or a permanent marker, a pencil, an X-Acto knife or utility knife, a pair of scissors, thread, you can use anything that you have around your house. Even dental floss will work well. Just make sure that you have a needle that your thread will fit through. In book binding, usually you use wax thread. So if you have beeswax, you can wax your own thread at home or use dental floss that's waxed. A glue stick. This is an awl. It's used for making holes, but if you don't have one, you can just use your needle. This is a bone folder. This is for scoring or for compressing your paper. I use these stamps to decorate my cover, but you can use markers or pencil crayons or anything else that you have around the house. To prepare our signatures, we're going to cut our paper in half. Mark five and a half inches on the top and the bottom with your pencil. Now you're ready to cut your paper in half. You should now have 24 individual sheets. Next, take four individual sheets and you're going to fold them in half to create your first signature. If you have a bone folder or something with a straight edge, you can help with creasing the paper by sliding it along the spine of your signature. Place your signature aside and repeat this step with the other five signatures. Now we'll prepare the cover. I stamped on the outside of mine, or the inside, and then I'm going to use the cereal box side as the inside of the front cover. Measure and mark four inches and three eighths in from both sides of the cover to mark where the spine will be. The spine width should be in the center of your cover board and should be approximately three eighths of an inch wide. Now you're gonna mark where the opening in your spine is going to be. First, you'll measure to the middle of your spine. That's two and six eighths of an inch in. Then you'll mark one and a half inches from the top and bottom of the spine. Now you're going to cut this small middle line and along the sides of the spine to create two rectangular tabs that you'll be able to fold back from the center of the spine. This is where your signatures will show through the spine. Next, you can take your bone folder or credit card and score along either side of the spine to help your cover board fold. Bend back the tabs and glue them down with your glue stick. If you want to cover the inside of your book so that it doesn't look like a cereal box, now is a good time to do that. Here, I'm just gluing the inside cover and pasting down some red cardstock that I cut. Now your cover board's ready. Now you can grab your stack of six signatures, put them inside the cover board and jog them. So making sure your paper is even with your cover. Then grab your pencil and mark on the spine of the signatures where it meets the opening or the edge in your spine. This is where you're going to poke the holes in the next step. So make sure that you mark every signature. Now you can go ahead and poke holes in all of your signatures. You can use your needle or an awl. When you're done, check that your signature's holes all line up perfectly with the hole in your spine. Thread your needle with an arm's length of string or thread, not doubled up. Enter the first sewing station on the inside of your first signature, leaving a little tail on the inside. Then 
go around to the outside of the cover, over the spine, and back into the same signature from the outside. Tie a knot using the tail you left and your string. Exit your signature so that your needle's on the outside and through the cover. Add your second signature. Line up the holes. Go right from the outside into the hole on your second signature. Loop around the spine. Go under the bridge in the stitch from your first signature to your second signature. This is kind of like blanket stitch if you sew. You're ready to add your third signature. Line up the holes and enter the third signature from the outside spine. Loop around from the inside, around the outside of the spine, under the bridge that you created between the second and the third signature, pull tightly and add your fourth signature. Repeat these steps for the fourth, fifth, and sixth signatures. Now you can tie off the string by looping it around, creating a knot. Cut off your needle. Rethread the needle with another arm's length of thread or string. You'll follow the same steps to sew this side of your book, but it will be easier now that all of your signatures are attached. Go into your sixth signature from the outside, loop around the inside, go over the spine, between the bridge on the fifth and sixth signatures, and back into the hole from the outside, and tie a knot by looping around that little tight. Now you can trim any of the tails on the inside of the booklet. And you're done! You made a sketchbook! Sewn binding buttonhole stitch. This is a great booklet because it lies flat, so it's great for drawing or note-taking. You did it! You made your very own sketchbook or notebook. Thanks for doing this project with me, and if you post on social media, please tag myself and CBC Arts Mix because we'd love to see what you've created. See you next time.